Hey, hi guys, Phil here. Right, as a change to making videos on SPSS, I'm going to do this question on regression using linear algebra. This topic falls under the subjects of statistics or econometrics. I'm just going to do A and B. So A. Let's have a look. We've got this in matrix form. Let me just rewrite it so we can be clear. Dependent variable is a vector. X is a matrix. B is a vector of parameters and U denotes the uh, disturbance terms and just write underneath so you know this is an n by 1 vector so it's a column vector this thing here tells us it's an n by k okay, n rows k columns this is a k by 1 and this is n by 1 right now this guy works because you know, all these have to be of the same dimension. So this is n by 1. This matrix multiplied by this vector will be n by 1. Just remember the rule up. Take this number, that's the number of rows of the final thing. That's the number of columns of the final thing. That's n by 1. That's n by 1. Right. So the question doesn't say, right, we're going to do part A. The question doesn't say, but in regression models, we, unless it's stated otherwise, we always assume that an intercept is included. So my x matrix will start off by a column of ones so it'll look like this ones all the way down the column and say this is column x2 subscript 2 x3 and so on all the way to x k so we can see then this has got n rows and k columns and you know we don't have to worry about what the x's are they're just columns they're vectors of numbers like this of the data but the thing to note is that the first column consists just of ones. It's a column of ones. Right. So, well, that's how, that's, uh, how is that helpful to calculate a sample size n? Because if you look at this, the top left-hand entry of x transpose x is n. So I claim n is fifty. Now why? Why would that be? Well, because we've just said that x is n it's got n rows, right? So that means we've got um, n number of ones. So we've got to add up how many ones do we have, but we can't tell just by looking at this because we don't know n, that's the point. But if you do x transpose x, so transpose just means that the column becomes the row now once this will be column x2 now will be a row x2 and so on okay that's my x transpose times x again so just rewrite this well look the entry row 1 column 1 will be this first row times the first column and that times that will give me n in the top left yeah I don't care what those things are that's what I want that's the this number 50 so that's it next comp part B compute the least squares estimator beta hat which we've got we know we're looking for three numbers here it's a vector it doesn't ask us to prove it, so we can just state it. Uh, no, also it doesn't say that we're talking about the least squares estimator, but we're going to do the least squares. So the least squares estimator for linear regression is given by this, which you just have to memorize unless you have to prove the thing. We've already been given the quantities over here and here, so we just have to multiply the things together. Um, just to do this exercise again, x transpose x, otherwise known as the gram matrix. Well, what? How many rows and columns does that have? Well, let's do it. And this is for your understanding. We know we're going to have to end up with a. You can see there's three entries there. It's going to be a three by one, okay? Uh, but if we write it generally, it's going to be a k by one. X transpose um, will be a k by n x is a 
n by k. So that means this guy transpose will be k by k. This guy here, well, will be that's a k by n, and y is n by one. So product of them, matrix product is going to be k by one. All right, so that fits k by k times k by 1 that works because these two inner numbers match leaving us with a final result of a vector k by 1. Right, the rest is just uh, an exercise in um, matrix calculations and so let's just put the numbers in. Before I do that I think I'd better just do a quick review. Let's just do an aside here because we're going to need the following. Uh, recall, suppose I've just got a matrix here, with a common factor A, say that's entry X1, it doesn't really, uh, doesn't really matter what I'm doing here, AX2, the labels here, AX3, AX4 say, then we can take out the common factor to each of these numbers which is A and so we can rewrite this and also works for a vector so suppose as an example having this vector with a common factor here of a we can pull out this constant a common factor okay so we're going to use both of these in this calculation and that's that's basically going to be it so x transpose x inverse, alright I've got that, okay thank god we don't have to find the inverse of this thing, alright it's given us the inverse look at the thing, it has got a common factor here of 5 over 150 so we can write 5 over 150 straight away right and then put in the numbers, well that's going to be 6, 6 times this gives me that number alright that's going to be 1, that's going to be minus 1 this is going to turn into a minus 1, this thing here is going to turn into a 4 and times x transpose y which is this guy and we look at this thing we can see there is a common factor as well it's a common factor of 10 so we can drag that out as well so 10, 15, 2, 8 the scalars we can just bring them together so that's going to be 50 over 150 and obviously that simplifies so 50 over 150 that is a third and now we've got that row times this column so it's 6 times 15 plus 0 times 2 plus 0 times 8 so 6 times 15 is 90 Next, so that gives us the row 1 of column 1, now row 2 co row two of column 1 is that times that row 2 column so that times 15 plus 1 times 2 minus 1 times 8 is minus 6 and finally that third row times the column gives me the final entry and you can see that this is going to just be minus Right, okay, 0 times 15 is 0, minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, plus 4 times 8, which is plus 32, so we got 30. We look here, there's a common factor, 3, so bring the 3 out. So, so 3 out, 3 over 3 is 1, and what we're left with is then 30, minus 2, and 10. And if you wanted to write it, alright, so this is then the answer. You should say uh, my intercept, my intercept, that guy here is labeled as beta subscript 0. That's intercept is 30, beta 1, and beta 2. Importantly, we have found estimates, so notice we put a hat on here to note that estimate not here, so we've got to put stick hats on these guys and we're done. All right, so it's a quick uh, quick one there. Um, if that interests you and liked it and you want me to do part C, let me know. Give me a sign, give me a like or a comment or something like that.
C is a lot longer. You might try it before um, asking me or you might not need it. Okay guys, that's it.